to my creative space. This is Emma. How are you all today? I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're being creative. I hope you're staying chilled no matter what's going on in your world. Lots of things happening, lots of unexpected things, lots of challenging things. And I'm just sending you a little bit of peace from my quiet corner here in the UK, in Cumbria. It's a rainy day today. I spent yesterday afternoon picking my husband up from our local railway station and it's about a 45 minute drive and it rained. It just got so dark and rainy, I almost gave up hope. It was like, oh my goodness, it was half past two in the afternoon and it was so dark and miserable, but never mind, it got better. I sat outside the railway station waiting for his train, which got later and later and later. <laughs> And I just ate some chocolate and thought, well, I'm okay. I'm tucked away here. I'm quietly parked. All the traffic was going past me. I didn't have to do anything or go anywhere for a while. And I drove home in the dark, which was different. I don't often go out in the dark these days because I just don't go anywhere, really. I just stay at home and enjoy myself here in the peace and quiet. So I'm sending you lots of love again from here. I love being with you. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments. I so enjoy chatting to you and finding out a little bit about what you're doing or where you are in the world or what your favourite kind of creating is, whether you like sewing or painting or whatever it is, you know, just let me know, leave me a comment, just say hello, hello from wherever you are in the world, it, it just makes my day, it's just lovely to connect with you. It's what this is all about, I started this channel not knowing what on earth I was doing, I had a phone and the impulse to just to talk to the world and here I am three years later still still finding things to talk about which is quite amazing and still finding things to create and share with you which I absolutely love doing it's such a joy so thank you for being here it's wonderful don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy the video because that all helps people find us here and more people joining the party can only be a good thing don't you think Creativity is the way forward. It's the new. It's the new way to live life. Is being creative, whatever it is you're doing. So I'm looking again at these gorgeous colours. I just brought my box over to remind you. If you didn't watch last week's video, these are the colours we're working with, and they're kind of autumnal again. There's a lot of purple going on. As you can see, I've moved into my sort of autumn purple wintry colours, which is really nice. It feels very cosy and snuggly. I've moved out of my summer pinks and blues. And my body was going, no, put the purple on again. We like the purple. So I was looking at this and thinking, well, it's kind of, I'm working with these colours again, these lovely orangey, rich autumnal colours. And who knows what other colours, I mean, at the moment there isn't any blue in the mix, but who knows? I'm expecting the unexpected any minute now. Who knows where it's going to go today with this piece. Um, it's a voyage of adventure. I'm kind of starting work these days with these amazing backgrounds that I embellish down and then and then <laughs> something seems to happen something seems to take me on this this journey of adding texture and more color and just I don't know where it's going I really don't know where it's going and your guess is as good as mine I don't know what it's going to end up like but I'm just loving this process this adventure I'm putting aside the control I am putting in my personality and my choices into it but it's along with my intuition and this sort of greater sense and expansion. The colours that I'm using, I don't think I would have used years ago. Um, I mean, putting blue and orange together. I know it's kind of complementary if you look at the if you look at the colour wheel and all of that sort of stuff. But I don't do that. I just work from what colours come to me to use and what looks good. Basically, I use what I see. And that's what informs what I do. And I hope that you'll do the same. And it's your choices, it's your personality goes into what you make. Nobody else needs to have a, an input into it. But it is nice to share, as I say. I love sharing with you because I always get a different insight from what you say. Because other people will see things differently. And I, I love that. It's almost like we're expanding the sum of knowledge here. Because everybody's putting their two pennyworth in. And we're getting different views and different ideas. Different imagination. So I think that's probably enough chit chat sitting here on my lovely comfy sofa and I'm going to go across and we're going to get on and I think today is going to be an embellishing day and I can't wait. Okay so this is my embellishing machine. If you haven't seen one before it's basically a machine which has some very sharp needles in this bit down here and 
they go up and down and basically mesh the fabrics together. If you've done any hand needle felting, that's exactly the same as that, but this does it for you, if you like. I don't have to do anything other than just press the foot and it magically presses, the, puts, the, puts the fabrics together. There's no thread, there's no thread in this. It's You then do free machine embroidery on top of it if you want to. So let's get started. What I'm using here is curtain interlining, as I said in my video last week. You could use old blankets, you can use calico, cotton, whatever you've got. I just like this because it's got a bit of, um, it's got a bit of body to it, as my mum would say. It's got a bit of body to it and it gives a little bit of slightly quilted effect to things that I make. Um, so I'm going to pick up some fabric from my little box and we're just going to pop it on here. And off we go. Just push that down a bit. And off we go. So this to me is the magic of this machine. It takes fabrics it meshes them together so that's now firmly held on there. It's not something that would withstand washing or anything like that, um, but I use it as a way of putting fabrics down, blending colours, and it creates this lovely texture. I never quite know what it's going to do with the fabrics that I put down. This is why trying them out is a good idea. If you don't, you know, if you don't see what you like, if you don't like that surface, what it does to it, well, you could just keep it as that and stitch onto it instead. If you like it plain and flat, don't use an embellisher. But the embellisher, it's just marvellous. I just love it. And, oops, just gotta make sure your needles are up. That funny noise is when your needles are too far down. I don't tend to, it has a presser foot on here, but I don't tend to use that because on this one, this is a baby lock embellisher, on this one, this bit goes up and down. So I can slide the material, as long as my needles are up, I can slide the material in and out and round about. Um, I don't really need to pull the presser foot up, so I just leave it down, which may or may not be good practice, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just, I'm just saying this is what I do. I'm not saying you need to do it the way I do it, okay? Let's put that bit on there and see what happens. What I'm trying to think to do and remember to do is to make sure that I've got some fabric coming over the edges there so that I can turn it in if I want to or I can leave it as a nice sort of rough edge. So I'm just going to, oh you can hear I'm twinging, I'm twinging my needles, I haven't got it pulled up far enough, very naughty. And if you put it down somewhere that you don't want it to be, you can just simply pull it up like that and move it somewhere else where you'd like it to be. Any gaps that come up, well, I can just put another piece on top. Let's cut that little bit off. Let's cut that little bit off. Okay, so what we've got so far is we've got this lovely orangey colour, this lovely, beautiful, rusty autumnal colour all the way down here. Anywhere I've had a little gap when the material's pulled in I've just put another little piece on top. It's such a forgiving method this is just because you can just put things on, take them off, move them around. So I've got this lovely piece of yellow to go on next, this goldeny sort of colour and I'm just I'm just gonna pull that up a little bit because I think I want it I want the orange to go on top of the yellow I think. So I'm just going to put this piece down first, see what it does. I'm not sure how much it's going to shrink, so let's see. Yeah, I had a feeling, I had a feeling this fabric was going to shrink quite a lot. Wow, that is incredibly textured, isn't that lush? So hopefully that will still go over there, there we go. There we go, so now we've got the colour the colour mixing going on. Well, no idea where it's going. 
no idea what it's going to be but I just love this journey and I love how each piece I'm working quite intuitively here I just kind of pick up the pieces and put them down where they seem to want to go It's really good fun. It's like being a child again, just messing about. I don't want to over embellish this fabric because I do know it goes into holes quite quickly because it's quite fine. So I've just got to be a little bit careful. As I say, each material has its own little way and you have to kind of work with that. I'm just wondering whether I put that bit in there. A bit of there. Here we go. Okay. Oops. Ah! Gosh, it just shrinks so much. It just takes you by surprise. It's lovely. So, I mean, I could actually, that's going to overlap quite a lot. So I could actually take that off and move it down a little bit. But I think, if you can see, that's actually welded. I think that's welded. We're not going to do that. The fabrics behave very differently and it all depends also on how much you embellish them as to how sort of firmly, firmly they stick to things. And that bit might go on there. Let's pop that on there and see what happens. It's just like a sort of a crazy jigsaw and it's so absorbing. I'm not thinking about anything else. Totally focusing on these gorgeous colours, these beautiful textures, and loving what I'm what I'm doing. I don't know whether that might go there, or perhaps it might go there. Let's put that there. I've got to allow enough for it so that it goes right over the edge. What I love has how each piece I put on just seems to fit in, and it's just slowly but surely building up into something and I don't know what it's going to be yet. Let's just get another piece. Here we go. And look, that just fits in there. I know it's going to shrink but it's sort of starting out in about the right shape. So I'm just not controlling this, I'm just letting the fabrics show me where they want to go and I'm just slowly but surely building up something. I'll show you the back, look at that, isn't that just looking lovely? So I shall keep plugging away at this. Let's keep adding bits on, ooh that's a nice piece, let's put that on there. We'll start at this end. What I love about this is it's a very slow process. There's no quick way of doing this. If I was cutting big pieces of fabric and just, you know, slapping them on, that's one way to do it. And I have done that and it does work beautifully, you know, big strips and things like that. But this is just so much more interesting because I don't know where it's going. And it just looks so crazy, doesn't it? It just looks so crazy that it's never going to be anything at all. And I just have to trust that it's taking me in the right direction, basically. Okay, so I'm just looking in my basket again and looking at what colour I might go for next. And I'm just going to try out this pinky colour and I'm going to try out the purpley colour and see if that's what's going to be next. Let's just have a little look. And I'm thinking, let's put that there. Mm, no, it's not doing it for me. And no, the purple isn't either. So let's see, what else, what else have we got? Well, we've got orange. So let's put the orangey colour back on then, eh? Is that what I need to do next? I 
is where we've got to with this. You can see it's very coggly, it's very rough. You can see all the edges of the little scraps of fabric that I've put down. It's really made the fabric go quite bumpy and I like that because it's stopped it being this very flat, smooth thing with flat, smooth pieces of fabric. And on the back, you can see where the embellishings, it's a bit intermittent, but I'm trying not to over embellish things so as not to destroy the surface too much because this fabric particularly because it's quite a fine one um, it's very easy to sort of destroy it completely if you're not careful and that can be a look if you want to have aged looking fabrics embellishing can be a really useful tool for that you can sort of blend um, and make things quite lacy and, and um, oh what's the word distressed is the word I think I'm looking for so I'm not quite sure where these are going to go if they're going to be in this where they're going to be in this and how they're going to be in this. I've absolutely no idea at the moment. So I'm going to have a little sit and a cogitate about that and feel into what, what they might like to be doing in this piece. And, you know, please let me know what you think you would do with this as a background. Where would you take this? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love, I always love to get your views and your ideas because it's different to mine and I love that. It's just, you know, we're sparking, sparking things here, sparking ideas, sparking imagination. You know what do you see when you look at this don't don't forget it might well go up the other way I'm not quite sure whether it's going to be uh, vertical or horizontal so I'm going to leave it there for today because I really need to feel into what's going to be next um, from from my point of view and you know perhaps I'll read your comments and see see if any of them sort of feed my imagination and, and creativity see where we'll go with it all together and that would be great so I will see you again in my creative space next week have a good week. Bye for now.